been a great preseason. It's been a very long preseason. Uh, we've had nine weeks of training indoors. Uh, the team has gotten really strong, uh, really balanced. Uh, we're anxious for this weekend to actually see um, where they stand as far as their speed and strength. Uh, it's our first meet this week. Um, we'll have a better idea how the season is going to go from there. Preseason, uh, all both the guys' team and the girls' team have been putting in a lot of work. Uh, we saw really the sprinters pick it up a lot this year from where they've been in the past. They start uh, really early on, on before winter break, and every day they've just been staying here, you know, three, three and a half hours, putting extra work in the pool uh, and trying to hit like different muscle groups that we weren't even uh, really hitting last year. So I think they're going to see a big improvement this year. And then all the distance guys, we returned like a big core group of guys this year. Uh, so I think we're just going to keep building on off of what we did last year. I am just really happy because we have two new coaches um, and we've just been training actually since um, October, pre-preseason, this conditioning season. Um, so this is the hardest I've ever trained these past uh, three years um, and even back in high school. Um, this is the strongest I've ever been, been in the weight room since uh, September, October. Um, so I'm just really excited. I, I, I feel strong. This is a strong base that I've, that I've um, kind of set this foundation. Um, and I'm just thankful for these two new coaches and I'm pumped for this season. Pleasant surprise is our freshman group of sprinters uh, on the men's side. Uh, they've really come together. Uh, they've worked real hard as a group. Uh, there's definitely some shining stars in the group. Uh, I really see them pushing the team to a new level on the men's side. On the women's side, we pick up a, a freshman thrower in Melissa Perlman and a new pro, uh, pole vaulter, uh, Paris Ekman, uh, who should add some new events uh, to the team that'll help uh, come with that time. In the short and long term, both uh, the team goals that we want to do is just move up. Uh, one of the biggest goals is move up in the new max. So we're always looking to see you know, uh, how our competition is and then and try to improve on that especially from last year. And it's tough being a uh, small school and sometimes we're missing people that uh, we need in certain events. But uh, I think especially uh, we picked up a lot of good sprinters that are going to help boost our scores up this year. Uh, so I think we want to move up in the new max, uh, qualify more people to regionals and ECAC's championship. And then last year we saw Marina Capavo got uh, national bid, which is awesome. So hopefully maybe we can get another one of those this year and uh, you know, keep trying to build our reputation. The women's team, the nine of us, um, even though we're small, we do have um, high goals from the hurdlers to the pole vaulters to the jumpers to the throwers um, and to the distance runners. Um, we all have our individual goals and also as a team, um, we do want to advance um, and get a better position at New Max, um, but we don't know how realistic that is given our small size, but then again, we're not going to let that limit us. We're just excited. We have individual goals and we're just going to try and um, basically uh, strengthen each other so that as a whole, we can be strong. Short term goals is to uh, build each meet. Uh, progressing through the season so that we peak at the right time. Uh, our long-term goal is, of course, to perform well at uh, the New Mac Championships, improve on what we did last year, and hopefully uh, get a couple of New Mac Champions. Uh, so one of the things that I want uh, all the underclassmen to do is uh, just really try to create good like teamwork, and uh, you know everybody needs to. The better they know each other, I feel like the better we perform as a team because sometimes track is seen as not really like a team sport. It's very like individual. You have your own goals. And you're trying to run for yourself. But uh, like one thing we've done really well this year is every day at the end of practice, we all get together and we do core. And uh, even though it's core and it's not running, it's a great way to get all the guys together. We all work out and uh, have a little conversation. We just got to know each other all better through that. So just like little things like that, eating together at dinner, I think the better bond that we have, that's uh, will I think create better performance in games. Honestly, I just really want this realization and this drive for all of us to reach our full potential. That's something that I've learned um, not too too long ago, and that's something that I'm really close, to, uh, keeping close to my heart. That 
from practice to meets um, to even when we're just like how we eat, how we sleep. It's just trying to reach our full potential, and that's what I hope each individual does. Successful season uh, for me is showing that every athlete has uh, improved from the year before. Uh, so a lot of PRs are good. Um, I'd like to see some school records go down. Uh, of course, our main target is the new MAC championship. Like I said before, we'd like to see the teams improve there, uh, hopefully individually and as a team, uh, move up the rankings.